Okay, we're out at this pretty natural area and we just saw like five bald eagles come in. And we were gonna film this a few minutes ago, but there was like 20,000 children out here. And we didn't <laughs> wanna show them on the video. And our good microphones are broken and at the shop. <laughs> and the wind just picked up. So we tried to find a sheltered place because you all keep asking about this whole tripod and gimbal head setup. So Steve is gonna tell us about it and I'm gonna try to block the wind from the microphone. Are you ready for this, Steve? Okay, let me get my crib sheet. Get your get your sheet out, yes. Okay, I'm gonna block the, the wind. Oh gosh. Okay, Steve, take it away. Line. Line. <laughs> Okay, here's my crib sheet because my memory isn't too good, uh, especially when it remembers when it comes to remembering specs. Um, I tend to spec out what I want, go and buy it, and then forget all the specs because they're not important anymore. So this uh, the tripod is an Inorel model RT90CM. It's a carbon fiber tripod. There were really two specs that I wanted, two items on the, my spec sheet that I wanted. One was carbon fiber because it's lightweight and also it tends to dampen out vibrations a little bit faster than aluminum does. So I like that. And then also this cut does extend up to 63 inches. So it's a little bit taller. So I've still got one more leg that I could extend on this one. And then you can also get an additional uh, center post that gives you another 18 inches. So it gives me the height that I was looking for also. And, and if you put the, close the tripod legs a little bit closer together, it's more unstable, but you gain more height. I've used it that way too. Carbon fiber ten, tends to be lightweight. So this, uh, this tripod weighs about six pounds. And I don't know, I, I think I paid around $350, $370 for it. It's got these little camo things on here that are, there's a thin padding. layer of padding, but it's fabric on the outside, so you don't have to worry about the padding flaking off as it gets older on some, that you see on some tripods. And then what I really love too, which I didn't expect, is getting this shoulder pad, which lets me just basically, if I, if I want to move it, I can just pick it up and move. So. Uh, certainly for just short motions around various areas to get a better composition, of course. Um, that's a real convenient thing to have. But it's really nice to have these grips. It's much better, uh, much better than I expected and I'll probably spec them in all future uh, tripods should I get, a, get another one. The gimbal head. Now this is kind of interesting. I got this, see lots of YouTubers, YouTube uh, bird photographers with these because it, it, they can they can track the birds while, while they're moving. And that's really nice. They, so I thought, yeah, I'd give it a try. Uh, again, lightweight. What kind is it? It's, um, it is a ProMaster GH30C. Again, about another $350, $370. What drew me to it is it's carbon fiber, so it's gonna be lightweight to start with. Uh, when I look in the, in the images online, I did not expect it to be as large as it is. So it's probably got a, the, the tubes on that probably have a, a cross section of one and a quarter inches or so. Uh, so it is a bit bulky, but that's kind of true about the whole setup is it's a little bit bulky. The gimbal itself, weighs around two pounds. So the gimbal and the tripod is eight pounds. The camera and the lens are seven pounds, which is, I figure that's a good balance. <laughs> so again, the gimbals. Also the gimbal comes with uh, a handle. So if you want to do, actually do videos or, or uh, uh, panning, horizontal panning uh, in a more smooth manner, you can do that too. These are kind of experiments to start with, but overall I'm, I'm very happy with this, with this setup. As I gain familiarity with it, it is becoming more and more comfortable to work with. Uh, I'm, I'm fewer and fewer cons, if you will.
my gosh, the darn wind. Maybe it'll bring snow. Yeah, maybe, but probably not. <laughs> okay, but so. overall, this has been really handy for video pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, if you saw the clips from the Bobcat Ridge where my video camera broke, all those clips of the flicker, flicker? No, uh, woodpecker. Downy woodpecker. The downy woodpecker were with this setup. So great. Um, and then like just now, ooh, the wind. <laughs> and just now with all the bald eagles flying over, we could step in one spot and Steve could pan this around and tilt and do the whole thing um, and not have to like hold it up like I'm doing. <laughs> uh, but I think it's been great. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So there, y'all asked, what are our, what is this all thing? And I'll put links to it in the description too. And before we blow away to Kansas, we're gonna go. Okay? <laughs> See you. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I can't let go of this camera. It'll fall over and die. Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh.